Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. Today's topic is the 15 end time chapters of the book of Revelation, chapters 6 through 20, which St. John organized as a secret cryptogram. Once you understand the cryptogram, which I am going to reveal the secret of on this program, you will be able to figure out the true and accurate chronology of all the events which will happen in the very near future. For nearly 2,000 years, no Protestant Bible scholar, no Catholic theologian, no Pope or Bishop has ever been able to figure out the book of Revelation, mainly because they assumed that all the events are in their correct chronological order. So let's begin with a prophecy question. Will the events prophesied in chapter 17 actually occur before those in chapter 14? In chapter 17, an angel says to St. John, Come, I will show you the condemnation of the great whore who sits upon many waters. Now this great whore is Babylon, which is a symbol for end times decadent capitalism. By the way, please don't listen to the many false prophets out there who claim that Babylon represents the Roman Catholic Church. That is a lie from the pit of hell. St. John continues in chapter 17, and he says that Babylon slash capitalism will be made desolate. And the ten horns on the beast shall hate the whore, and shall eat her flesh, and shall burn her with fire. The beast which the whore of Babylon rides on symbolizes atheistic communism, and the ten horns represent the revived Roman Empire, which basically is the European Union. Now notice in this passage from chapter 17 that all the action is in the future tense. The ten horns shall hate the whore, they shall make her desolate, they shall burn her with fire. But now let's look back at chapter 14, where St. John writes in the past tense, as if Babylon had already fallen. And another angel followed, saying, Great Babylon is fallen, is fallen. So the question is, are these two chapters out of order? Shouldn't chapter 17, which describes the fall of Babylon in the future tense, come before this passage from chapter 14, which is in the past tense? Incidentally, the two is fallen refers to the two nations which will fall in World War III, England and America. After studying the cryptogram, I think you will agree with me that these two chapters, 17 and 14, are indeed out of sequence. We find another reference to Babylon in chapter 16. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give to her the cup of his wrath. Here in chapter 16, the downfall of Babylon is remembered by God, even though it does not actually take place until farther on in chapter 18. Again, once you understand St. John's cryptogram, you will realize that this cup of God's wrath cannot fall on Babylon until at least seven years after the events in chapter 18. One more example. In chapter 17, St. John sees the beast from the bottomless pit, which is the one world communist tyranny, sat upon and controlled by the great whore Babylon, which, as I said, stands for our own end times decadent Western culture. And I saw a woman sitting upon a scarlet colored beast, full of the names of blasphemy. But way back in chapter 11, this same beast from the bottomless pit assassinates the two prophets Enoch and Elijah. After studying St. John's cryptogram, you will clearly see that these two chapters, 11 and 17, must be read in reverse order because World War III will occur before Enoch and Elijah returns to earth. Incidentally, it is the beast from the bottomless pit, that is, the one world communist government, which will kill the two prophets and not the Antichrist, as so many other biblical scholars mistakenly claim. Now let's take a closer look at St. John's secret cryptogram, which you see on the wall 
behind me. On the wall behind me, you see St. John's cryptogram chart. This is how he organized the 15 end time chapters of the book of Revelation. They are in a secret cryptogram, which was meant to be unraveled in these latter days, so that all of us can understand the events which are about to transpire upon earth. Let's see how this cryptogram works. Let's start at the beginning, just as it is in your Bibles. The first seal is the white horse of apostasy. The second seal is the red horse of war. The third seal is the black horse of famine. And the fourth seal is the pale horse of death, which at the moment is behind Queen Esther here. Following the fourth seal comes the fifth seal, the sixth, there's an interlude, and then the seventh seal. Following the seventh seal, the first trumpet, second trumpet, third trumpet, fourth trumpet, fifth trumpet, sixth trumpet, interlude, and seventh trumpet. Following the seventh trumpet, we see the great sign, the woman flees the dragon, the beast from the uh, sea and the land. The beast from the sea, of course, is the Antichrist. The beast from the land is the false prophet. And finally, Jesus returns on Mount Zion for Armageddon. Following these great signs, the woman and the beast from the sea and the land, come the first herald angel. Now, most Bible scholars don't realize it. But in addition to seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bowls, there are seven hidden angels. The first herald angel, the second, the third, and the fourth. Following the first four herald angels, we come to the first bowl, the second bowl, the third bowl, and the fourth bowl. The fifth bowl, the sixth bowl, the interlude, the seventh bowl, and finally the fifth herald angel, the sixth, another interlude, and the seventh herald angel. This cryptogram, as it is printed here, is exactly the same as it is in your Bibles. But, that is not how we must read these events for the end times. St. John does not want us to read these events vertically. Instead, we must read them horizontally. In other words, after the first seal does not come the second seal, but rather the fifth seal. Following the fifth seal, comes the first trumpet. Following the first trumpet, the fifth trumpet. Following the fifth trumpet, the great sign, the first herald angel, the first bowl, the fifth bowl, and the fifth herald angel. All these events on this top line have to do with the great apostasy. All these events on this line, all of these, have to do with the great war, World War III. If we read St. John's cryptogram correctly, we will understand the true chronology of the end times. Now let's take a look at the questions that we posed at the beginning of the program. For example, here in chapter 17, the harlot rides the beast. But back here in chapter 14, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the angel says. On the cryptogram chart, the sequence is correct. 17 comes ahead of 14, whereas in your Bibles, of course, 14 comes before 17. Let's look at when God remembers Babylon. Down here, God remembers Babylon, but up here, Babylon rides the beast. In other words, 16 should come after 17 and 18. The third example we mentioned, the beast from the bottomless pit, is here introduced and written on by Babylon slash capitalism. But over here, the two prophets are slain by the beast from the bottomless pit. Obviously, the beast from the bottomless pit kills the two prophets after being introduced back in chapter 17. The cryptogram chart has the correct sequence, but of course in your Bibles, Chapter 11 comes before 17. There are many, many more examples that I could give you, but we don't have time on this short sequence today. If you would like a copy of this cryptogram chart, simply write to me at the address that you see now on your screen.